Hi everyone, today we will be dealing with solidarity and stability agreement. This agreement is made between GCC member countries that is GCC means the expansion is Gulf Cooperation Council. Okay, this is a council which is existing between the member countries of Middle East. Okay, you can see in the map like here in green color you can see the member countries they are Oman, UAE, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. Okay, so these are the member countries of Gulf Cooperation Council which is formed in 1981. Okay, 1981 it was formed and these are the members of Gulf Con Cooperation Com Council. Okay, so earlier in the year 2017 there was a sanction over one of the country that is Qatar. Okay, so on this Qatar the other members had imposed a sanction okay and completely blocked all the borders including airway landway as well as the seaway okay so they have blocked all the borders which is to the Qatar and also imposed a sanction to this country okay so they did so because they were they were thinking that Qatar was too close to Iran which is one of the enemy countries of this GCC and also they thought that Qatar is giving a lot of support to terrorist group but even though Qatar denied that they are not doing such kind of activities including uh, too much close to Iran as well as in the case of support to terrorist group no one considered this denial and they imposed sanctions over Qatar including this economic sanction as well as this closure of borders which is leading to Qatar that include three borders land air as well as sea route okay so such kind of things happened in 2017 but at present recently the GCC meeting held in Saudi that was the 45th 41st meeting of GCC held in Saudi Arabia okay in that meeting they again they again made a rethink over this sanctions and made another agreement and that agreement is known as solidarity and stability agreement and in that agreement what they did is that they agreed to remove the sanctions on Qatar okay so now they will be opening up their border which is leading to Qatar as well as they will be removing sanctions over Qatar okay so this is a very good news because from now onwards they will be working together to achieve their goals actually this is a regional grouping okay this have or all these member countries are locating close together and we can say that this is a geographic or regional grouping okay so these regional group have a lot of importance because they are working together so as these kind of sanctions were go was going on in 2000 from 2017 itself there was a lot of problems occurring in between them okay so now onwards there will not be any sanctions and also there will not be any problem between these member countries and they will be working smoothly okay so it has a lot of importance because it will be a peaceful process okay so with regarding to india we also have a lot of relation with this middle east countries because all these countries are important trading partners for india so their cooperation and the peace among these countries will be good news for india also okay and also we are as an importer we are importing almost about 85 percentage of our oil from other countries okay so we are importing a major share of our oil from these middle east countries also so in that perspective also we will be having a good positive vibe from this agreement okay and also another important point is that this will be reuniting all the regional member countries for the economic as well as the political good okay so they will be from now onwards they will be 
working for the economic prosperity of the region okay that will be definitely a good thing for all over the world okay so this is the agreement that is solidarity and stability agreement the crux of the agreement is that they will be removing the sanctions on Qatar which was imposed in 2017 and they will be opening up the border which is land sea as well as the air border which was closed during this 2017 sanctions okay so that's all about the topic thank you